Hi there, ladies. Welcome back. Matt Schaefer here with you again, your empowerment connection and relationship coach. I'm so happy to have you back for this video. Things are going to get steamy, y'all. <laughs> Things are going to get definitely uh, racy in this video. This video is going to be all about how to turn a man on with touch. I'm going to give you five ways you can use touch to literally make a man crazy and really get him going. All right, so uh, be sure to stay towards the end on this one. I'm going to give some of my best stuff right at the end on this video and hit the little subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm posting new content every week and I want you to stay tuned in so you know when I'm posting new content, okay? And so today we're gonna talk about touch, but very specifically in how you can use it as a woman. You have tremendous power as a woman to turn a man on with touch. Okay, and I'm talking about even if he's at absolute zero, right? Because I know sometimes a lot of my clients, some of my clients will talk to me and they'll be like, oh my guy, he's just, you know, not really, he's just has a hard time, especially if he's been stressed out, right? If men have been stressed out, they've had a long day, they're not in the mindset of like, hey, let's get intimate. <laughs> you know, that's not where they're at because they're depleted or stressed out from their day. But there are things you can do to just sort of activate that within a man. You have tremendous power as a woman to really evoke that uh, sensual, sexual energy within him. Okay, so I'm going to give you five tips to really help you do that with him in a, in, a, in, a, in a powerful way, all right? And this first one, you may have heard it, you may not, but the first tip is to really touch him softly, okay? And, and this might seem a little counterintuitive, right? Because a lot of, you know, dating advice you see or a lot of things you might think about men is that they need to be touched hard and they need this like really aggressive contact in order to get them like aroused. Nope. One of the most powerful things you can do is just touch a man so softly that it's barely perceptible, you know? Just run one finger up his leg, right? Just one finger and just let it, or just down the back of his, down the back of his ear here. Just a tiny little trailing of a finger can be the one thing that just gets him going, right? And gets him started and it can happen so quickly, but it can start so subtly too. You do not have to grab him. Like I even told a story once about how a woman was too aggressive with me early on in dating and she just went and she just kind of grabbed my, uh, went for my nether regions <laughs> very early on when we were getting it. And I found that to be too aggressive, right? So especially if a man is stressed out, if he's had a long day, if he's had a lot, if he's carrying a lot of stuff, if, and he's, because he's been dealing with aggressive energy all day. So if you come at him too aggressively, right out of the gate, you're actually gonna maybe shut him down even more and emasculate him even more. So start soft, start nuanced, right? Just a casual brush, you know, of your body against his. Maybe if he's in the kitchen, right? You brush your body against him or maybe you brush your, your booty against him or something like that. Just giving him a little body contact. Just little things like that can really, uh, just get him get him started and sort of wake up that part of him. Think about if you wanted to wake somebody up. You wouldn't wake somebody up by you don't want to wake somebody up by shoving them. Right? You don't want to try to wake up a man's sensuality by by shoving it. You want to wake it up gently, especially if it's in a deep sleep cuz he's been stressed out all day, okay? So that's one important tip just to sort of get the ball rolling. And this next tip is also uh, something that, you know, is very effective. All right. It's to the second tip is to use your mouth in unexpected ways. Okay. So one way you can do that is to uh, basically like take one finger, right, and just roll it around in your mouth. Take one of his fingers, you know, and basically roll it around in your mouth. Roll it between your teeth and kind of treat it like you're sucking on something else. <laughs> but do that with a finger or a couple fingers, and you have no idea how much that will put a man in a uh, very activated state because he'll be experiencing that and he'll be like, oh my God, you know, because when, when a man feels that, he gets the sense of, wow, this woman really, she wants to make me feel good. She wants to really 
please me, right? And when a man feels that sort of commitment and that sort of passion from a woman and that intention from her, it's very, very, very powerful, okay? It's a very, very powerful thing. And uh, this next step, and there's a lot of different ways you can do this, right? This is an overall concept you can use for, uh, for all types of physical contact and connection with, uh, with a man, is mix up sensations. Men love variety. Okay, men love variety. And so what do I mean by that? What do I mean by men love variety? So try different sensations. Uh, instead of just using your fingertips, you know, instead of just using the pads of your fingers, use your nails, especially if you have long nails, right? Nails are something that's super, super, super uh, sensual for men because for the most part, men don't really have nails ourselves. So to feel the an actual like long, soft, you know, fingernails across our skin, both hard and soft, can be really hot, right? And mix up mix up the depth of sensation, like maybe like one time you bring your hand down his arm or down his back, like do it very softly with the nails, and the next time do it more hard. And really like, and again, you can always sort of like read what a man is liking. Men are not very subtle in the way that we express whether we're liking something or not, right? So as you're doing stuff, as you're touching him, as you're using your nails, as you're maybe using your teeth, right, on different parts of his body or using your lips, as you're doing these things, you can sort of watch him. His body will tell you the way that he responds, the way that his face lights up or doesn't, right? You'll be able to read, if you're connected and if you're present to him, you'll be able to read on what he's liking and what he's not. You know, you don't even need to ask him. Men are not good at hiding their uh, response, their physical response to stuff, you know? So by, by watching his body, by watching how he responds, by watching his face, you can tell what kind of sensation he's uh, doing, right? What's, what kind of sensation he's responding to. So mix up, play with different things. Like for example, when, you, when he thinks you're gonna kiss him, like say you're going up to his ear, which is a sweet spot for a lot of guys, right? He thinks you're gonna kiss his ear, instead of kissing in his ear, maybe blow in it. Like where, when a man, where a man is expecting your mouth or expecting your lips or expecting your tongue, maybe blow on that part of him instead, like just with, with hot, slow breath. Oof, that can be really, really, really sensual for men, right? So give him breath sometimes instead of giving him, you know, a tongue or, or, or your lips. Does that sound good? That's a really, really good one. This is stuff that's really gonna work. And this last one is something that's very explicit, but I have to throw it out there because it's, this is very, very effective for a lot of men and, and, and very few women, I think, really know how powerful this is. This is a technique for, uh, for oral sex, right? So when you're uh, you know, giving a man a blowjob, right? Uh, do you use your hands? And if so, how? Because your ability to use your hands while you're giving a man a blowjob makes a blowjob a completely different experience for a man. So there's levels of this, right? There's levels to which you can use your hands when giving a man a blowjob. The first being, you know, you use one hand and you go, you know, up and down in a stationary manner with your hand while you're giving him a blowjob. That's great, right? But there's so much more depth. Uh, that you can go with this with this technique and with your hands to make it an even more incredible experience because the whole premise is right to mix up sensations so one of the ways you can mix up sensations on a man while you're giving him a blowjob is to actually twist your hand around his you know member while you're going up and down on it so twisting your hand while you're doing it is a rock star move and it is something that most men will be paralyzed <laughs> with bliss by you doing. And the ultimate form of that is the double twist in opposite directions, okay? It, and I know that sounds complicated and maybe that's not something that's, you know, applicable to all men because maybe you can't necessarily, you know, get that far with it. But if you can do a double twist where with both of your hands while you're giving a man a blowjob, that is one of the single greatest uh, physical experiences that you can give a man, most men, right? And an alternative to this, maybe if you can't do both hands or whatever, is just taking a couple fingers and using a couple fingers instead of both hands, okay? So uh, I can't believe that I just said this on a video, but I'm, I'm doing this for you ladies. <laughs> 
I'm doing this for you because this is this is transformative stuff. If you can uh, do this stuff for a man, just wait and see how he responds to it. Okay. Uh, and now this is this is tip four. Okay. So tip four for this is uh, to explore his body to find new sweet spots that he might not even know about. Okay, so use all these different tools that you have at your disposal, your fingertips, your nails, your mouth, your breath, right? And just probe his body, Do touch, touch different areas of him, touch areas that you've never touched on him before. And like I said earlier, watch his response. His body can't lie to you, right? The way he arches his back, the way that he sucks in his breath, you know, the, the, the things he's doing with his face. Each one of those is feedback for you on what's working or what's not. And you can find new sweet spots on him that maybe he didn't even know about. So again, explore his body, look for new sweet spots, and then watch his response, watch his reaction, right? And really let him know, you know, you're just playing, you just wanna play with him. So you just sit back and relax, honey. And that might be a little tough for a man to sort of lay back and surrender, but if you've cultivated trust with him and you let him know that you're just committed to making him feel good, he should be okay with it, okay? So that's, that's tip four, is to really just Make a man to surrender and then explore and look for his sweet spots. And then when you find them, uh, really like toy with them, right? Like we said earlier, mix up sensations. If he's got some weird spot, you know, on his side that is really sensitive or maybe, I don't know, somewhere on his back or on his, on his butt somewhere or whatever, wherever he's got a sweet spot, once you find it, play with it, right? Toy with it. Use different sensations. Mix it up. See what he likes. See what he doesn't. He won't need to say anything. You'll be able to tell <laughs> from how he responds and reacts. But the more you can mix up and vary sensations on a man, uh, the more happy he's going to be. I'm just going to tell you, okay? And this is the last way you can use touch. This is the fifth way. And I'm glad you guys hung with me, right? Because we're getting, I always tell you, I save you some, some of my most powerful stuff for the end of these videos. But the fifth tool, the fifth tip I want to give you on how to use touch to turn on a man, and the, and the last one is to take his hands and guide them to your sweet spots. Take his hands and just place them on you what, where it turns you on. Guide his mouth, right, to what turns you on, on your body. Because one of the greatest ways you can use touch to turn on a man, one of the greatest ways that men get turned on by touch is by turning you on. Any man that truly cares about you and cares about your pleasure, one of the greatest ways to turn him on is to show him what turns you on. Okay, so that's like, and again, and it's so much sexier for a man, instead of being told by a woman, touch me here, right? That's a very masculine thing, right? To command uh, a man to, to touch you somewhere. That's kind of masculine. That's kind of depolarizing. So instead of doing that, actually like take your hand and 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 take his hand right and then and then just guide his hand to that spot on your inner thigh or behind your head or in between your legs or wherever it is you know i mean you might have a bunch of them take his grab him by his hair you know and guide his face and his mouth down to your nipples or wherever it is you know you could have you can have a bunch of different spots and then once he gets there give him that feedback that it is driving you crazy you know arch your back moan like give him all the indicators you know let him know that that you're that he's doing a good job because men really crave that men crave getting that validation and that acknowledgement that they're doing well <laughs> right men love to be acknowledged for what they're doing right and you don't even, and, and all this can happen without any actual verbal exchange. That's the magic of it. Because touch is its own language, right? And so if you're really present with your partner and you're doing these things, you're, you're touching him soft, right? You're being subtle and nuanced to wake up his sensuality. You're mixing up sensations. You're using breath instead of your mouth. You're using your fingertips and you're using all in your nails and your teeth, right? You're doing all these different things and, and, you're, and you're experimenting with hand twists, you know, if you're, if you're daring and if you're ready to go for this in terms of oral sex. One of the most powerful things you can ever do. And you're demonstrating that you're willing to explore and look for his sweet spots. You know, and then once you find them, you mix up sensations on them.
and then that you have the courage right to really guide him to explore and unlock your sweet spots which i know you've got some as well right so if you can use touch this way you can really turn a man on and you can take your your sex life and your sensual life in connection with that man to a completely different level so i hope this resonated with you let me know let me know if you try these in the comments let me know how it goes let me know other text other techniques other tools you've used on men to uh with touch to really turn them on i'd love to hear some of your own strategies let's get a little talk going in the comments on this i'd love to hear from y'all on what has really worked for you and then let's all share information you know i'm all about uh spreading the love <laughs> you know what i'm saying and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel take a second and do so i'm posting new content every week and uh thanks so much for tuning in and i will see you soon Bye bye